The last style bender. In search of a third successful middleweight title defense. And we are underway. Marvin Vittori is in the green. Adesanya in the black and gold befitting a champion. Vittori came on strong in the first meeting in round three, was able to take Adesanya down and accomplish some things thereafter. Right away, is he chopping at that leg? Tremendous pressure by Vittori though, moving forward. And as we said, Vittori looks like he's put on some mass. I mean, he's always looked thick, but he looks bigger now than ever before. And you might think that that has to do with the idea that Jan Bohovic controlled him. Jan Bohovic is a big guy. Right. He's going to put on some mass. Or it might have just been just a tremendous training camp, and he looks great. Yeah, and, and stringing fights together, he's been very consistent. Yeah, he fought Kevin Hall so, just nine yeah, weeks ago yeah. tonight. You stay in the gym, you stay lifting, you stay being healthy. He's yeah. You're going to get jacked. <laughs> Body kick. Leg kick the allows top. Vittori to work his right takedown game. Guard. Very good timing there for Marvin Vittori. Tremendous. And to be able to do this in the first round is absolutely huge. Yeah, especially since the first one, it, it took him a while to get to, into that rhythm and be able to do this. Even Jan Bohovic wasn't able to do this quite this early. Well, let's see if Adesanya has learned things from that Jan Bohovic fight because he spent so much time flat on his back and wasn't able to have any success getting back up to his feet. Let's see if he can in this fight. Because if he can't, it's going to be, be a trouble. real yeah. problem. Back to his feet. Very nice nicely work. done. Nice work. But Marvin has to clinch. He's got, it looks like he's got double underhooks here. See, this is good for Izzy, too, that, you know, Marvin obviously caught that kick and got him down. But if Izzy can show that he's got the skills that once he's in and on the fence, he can deed up and get back to space, that's more important. Now he's just got to be careful about when he throws those leg kicks and not allowing them to just be out there for Marvin to grab a hold of. Adesanya attacks with a front kick. Thought he might be able to touch that liver of Marvin Vittori at times tonight. Ooh. Pretty good head movement defensively by Adesanya. Two minutes to go in the round. Those leg kicks starting to add up for Izzy. Yeah, he throws them out there very quick. He doesn't load up on them. Marvin's pressure, though. I mean, you got to admire that. Looked like one connection there amidst the flurry for Vittori. And good head movement for Vittori, avoiding the sharp punches of Izzy. Beautiful low kick by Izzy. Showed him the hands and snuck that in there with no telegraph. Nice left hand there from Vittori. But yeah, you're right, Joe. I think that's mixing that in, not just going to the thigh where Marvin can scoop it up and look for the double leg. I think going lower to the calf. Get him thinking down there, and you know how Adesanya can mix that head kick in too, and he can faint low and go right upstairs. Yeah. Right, like you said. Vittori to the body. Oh, man. He's really chopping those legs up. That's going to be a problem. Oh, nice stick oh. by Adesanya. Oh. And now he the went up kick. high with the kick. So the champion in a good striking flow here late in the round. And Adesanya mentioned in our interviews that he's going to be really focusing on his breathing. And you see him really breathing through his nose, controlling his breath out of his mouth. He said you're going to see Vittori mouth breathing, breathing out of his mouth the entire time. Well, he's really started to learn how to breathe correctly, breathing exercises and work on that as a, an exercise as opposed to just breathing because you're exercising. 
breathing exercises can have tremendous benefit, and he's just learning this now. Ooh. Nice little way to end that round. And here's the Vittori takedown. Catches that low kick. Gets out of Sanya on his back. And then Izzy comes back with quite a few solid leg kicks. Look at this uppercut. And you guys were talking about Adesanya and the breathing techniques, a lot of underwater work. I believe two minutes and 50 seconds, the longest he was able to hold his breath underwater. It's impressive. Rafael Cordero was quite honest with Vittori. And Vittori didn't like it. He said, right. he won that round. He said, he touched you more than you touched him. Oh, he went with the neck kick. Beautiful. Oh. oh. He's catching Vittori coming in. Vittori with a one-two there. But Izzy mixed it up with a knee, straight up the middle. Man. Fantastic movement from Izzy. Oh, so fun to watch. It's when you're playing this game and you're allowing him to strike on the outside and pick his shots and set you up, there's very few humans in the world that could do this without Asanya. Team leg kicks already for Adesanya, adds to that total there. 14. And he's doing real damage to that right leg of Vittori. And then again. Pretty good entry. It looks like he's got his hand clasped. Oh, hard elbows. Ooh. Vittori and a few elbows here, staying committed to trying to drag Adesanya down. Unable to do so as yet. That's big. That's big for Izzy. Yeah, this is going to give the confidence so much to Izzy. And you see Marvin is just kind of plodding forward, fighting a lot different than Bojovic did. Bojovic was a little bit more successful, a lot more successful on the feet with the striking, which allowed it to set up the takedowns to get them out in the open. And that's what's going to be important for Marvin. Is he got to? He's got to get these takedowns out in the open, off of counter strikes, or or catching the kicks of Adesanya. Well, the difference that Bojovic has is he has crazy one-punch nuclear power. And Izzy had to be very cautious. Marvin is a strong striker, but does not have that kind of one-hitter-quitter power. You can't make any mistakes with Bohovic. And Adesanya suggested, too, that Bohovic has a more awkward striking style that is a little bit harder to navigate. But he's very skillful. It's underrated. People underrate his skill because of his power. You just assume it's all power. Right, right, right. But he manages to get that power on you. You see it in the, the Dominic Reyes fight. It's one of the best examples. Uh, Dominic Reyes went so many hard rounds with John Jones, and Bohovic just put it yeah. to him right away. Now Adesanya has such a knack of, you know, we see a lot of people that are very good at fainting, but not only does he faint, he almost makes it seem completely like he's going to rush in and put a combo, and then he just holds off on it. And then when you go to go, he's on you. Yeah, as we were saying, he's he's the most sophisticated striker in the sport. Look at that. Oof. Sets up with the knee, that's the feint, and then delivers the low kick. Everything has layers upon layers. And he's just long, too. So he's got a reach, reach advantage, speed advantage, technique advantage. Look, he's right here on the fence, just comfortably skirting around. Yeah. Nice jab from Marvin. Oh. But there's the clinch. It's and now he's got his lot. hands together. I mean, this, but these elbows are really making him tuck his head, making him forget to try to get yep. that takedown. Look, he's already off, hands broken. Great I mean, job from Izzy. He can't just be comfortable clasping those hands and then waiting for the right moment. What that indicates to me is he's trying to preserve some energy for the big burst that's going to be required to execute that takedown properly. And Izzy's not letting that happen. That also 
lends me to believe, leads me to believe there's a shift in momentum. And that all the stuff that Izzy's been doing is starting to pile on and Marvin is fatiguing. Oh. oh. Tory advances, not a ton doing. Oh, late head kick for Izzy. Champion off to a good start through 10. Power shot. From Vittori, nice post by Izzy. Yeah, he's got to try to get him down. Now, though. This is different. Well, that's smart. Vittori's corner and Rafael Cordero was all over him, letting him know how this fight's going and that he's got to wake up. And hey, that's a response from Vittori no right there. Yeah, he's got the takedown and he's got it early. 4.30 to go. And if he can drag Izzy away from the octagon, that's what he wants to do. You see his right yeah. arm over the face of Adesanya. He's going to try to pull him away. He wants him nowhere near that fence. He doesn't want him to be able to cage walk and work his way up. He wants to be able to sit on him, put all his weight on him, out in that open water out there of the octagon. But he's got to do something significant once he has him here. He's in half guard. Um, you know, it's not normal to stand a guy up in half guard, but it happens. Yeah. As long as he's not active, it, if he can get to a dominant position, he's much more likely to hold. And not to mention just that you don't know when these opportunities are going to come again in right, this fight. Right. <laughs> you want to take it. I got him. And Look nice work here from Izzy. But back mount. Vittori's taking the back. Oh, this is tremendous. Oh, this boy. This is tremendous. Oh, my goodness. He's under the chin. Oh, Izzy oh, turned him. Izzy turned him. Amazing. Incredible. So an urgent Adesanya reverses course now inside the closed guard of Vittori. And let's see what kind of closed guard Vittori has. Does he have... A an offensive guard. This is rare to see him. He opens up. Interesting. He didn't try to sweep. He opened him up and let him up. And Izzy stays on top of him. Look at this. Oh. Nice scramble here by Good both scramble. men. Nice job. Good scramble. Looked like an eye what poke happened? there. On the way back up. Mark Goddard saw it. He might be using this as an opportunity to take a breather. We're going to have to take a look, see what this looked like. Because he's not wincing. He's not blinking. Let's see what happened. Ooh. Oh, definitely went in there. Definitely went in there. No doubt about it. About as inadvertent and accidental as it gets. Yeah, but that was pretty, that was way worse than I had thought of. Yeah, yeah man. me too. Yeah, because he did, wasn't reacting to it. Like he, oh, oh, beautiful right hand. Nice jab back from Vittori. Oh, that one hurt him. That one hurt him. That was a heavy leg kick. Not like the other ones where he's just kind of touching him. Yeah, he dug in with that one. Oh. Oh, those are nasty. Vittori's movement doesn't appear to be all that impacted. You know, that leg looks nasty, though. Izzy tried to question mark kick. Oh, Vittori caught him with a jab. That's what Vittori's got to do. He's got to land something to get his own confidence up. We should go to the body here. Stop head hunting. Yeah, I He's agree, up Joe. The cage. Vittori with a couple secured takedowns on six attempts. He's got to check those kicks. I mean, his right leg, he's, he hasn't checked any of them. Just eating all of them. There's another one. Yeah, that one hurt. Well, they come pretty quickly. Yeah, huh? if you start reaching down, trying to grab those things. It's coming up especially high. Especially against somebody like Adesanya, that's, ooh, that's a bad sign. There it there is. There's go. a question mark kick. He's compromised, clearly. Decent right hand from Vittori. 
Just unable to string too many oh. strikes together. He might be able to finish this fight with leg kicks if this keeps he might. going like this. He might. Because Marvin's doing nothing to stop him. And he's looking a little tired too, Joe. Oh, oh my goodness. There it goes. Yep. <laughs> Out of signing points to that leg of Vittori. Vittori is not switching stances. He's not making any adjustments. And again, hasn't checked one of those. Not one. At least slipped away from that Slip one. that one. He's got to be. He's got to pressure forward with some punches. Put his jab out there. Throw his own leg kicks. He gives up there. See, he gets him backing up towards that fence, and then he stops it with that one-two. Marvin's got to do more. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yep. Groin strike here towards the tail end of the round. Adesanya comes over to offer his. Apology. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Thank you, Tom. <sighs> There's only a few seconds left in the round, but you take your time. Vittori does get five minutes to recover. Right up the middle. My bad. That was my bad. Please be careful. I will be okay, buddy. Right there, right there. Clearly unintentional, okay? particularly by the way. Okay, look at me, well, Marvin. Always Marvin. unintentional Marvin. without a sign. He would never do that right. intentionally. He apologized three times. All right, let's take a look at this takedown here. He caught him as he was trying to throw a knee, pressured him up against the fence, and then drove in and got on top. He had a moment here where he was trying to lock up a rear naked choke. Izzy did a really good job of reversing, just turning into that choke. And here's that low calf kick that just knocks Marvin Vittori off his feet. And Style Bender just styling on Vittori when it comes to the stand-up in this fight. Vittori seems a little bit frustrated, perhaps delusional at times in that corner. But we'll see if he can come through with that requisite aggression as we hit the championship rounds. Vittori always says the quality of the fighter comes out over five rounds. Ooh. Oh, man. Wow. Israel's just mixing it up so well. And Marvin is desperate. He's reaching for him. He can't give him that kind of distance. He just no. can't. Can't give him that space. There he goes again. Destroying that right leg. See, right here. This is where Rafael Cordero is probably losing his mind on right, his fighter. Exactly. Where he's got him pressed up against the fence, and all he wants him to do is double jab and then shoot this. He's exactly what he wants, and his hands are locked. He's he got to go hands, for yeah, it He's got to go for it. He can't hang and wait to get some energy. Yeah, the longer you let... Somebody like Israel Adesanya sit there with your head sitting right next to his elbows. He's going to start smashing your head in. He just wants to gather up the energy to be able to explode and yank him down because he knows it's going to be a struggle. There it is. He gets, he gets him gets down, him. but he gets him. for how long? Every time we've seen the champion be able to get back up to his feet oh, or do things like that. This. Wow. And that's impressive. That's very impressive. And that speaks to the evolution of the all-around game of Adesanya, who welcomes a belabored Marvin Vittori back to his feet. Well, it's also him learning the lessons from the Jan Bohovic fight, where he was stuck on his back. Oh, my goodness, that leg. Nice right hand from Vittori. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, oh. My goodness. I love how he mixes that up. High and then low with the kick. You never know where he's going with those kicks.
Beautiful low kick by Vittori there. That caught Izzy off guard. Yeah, he's just not throwing enough. I, mean, I understand when you're getting countered by the champion like Izzy, you, it's going to frustrate you and you're going to hold back. But if he wants to be the champion, he's got two rounds, well, less than two rounds now to really let it go. Vittori has absorbed 30 leg kicks. The personal best for Adesanya, 37, which came in the five rounder with Brad Tavares. Oh, inside and out. Precious second, seconds ticking away for the Italian challenger. I think what we're seeing here is that Izzy evolved considerably since their first fight. It's a big difference. And he's also so much more comfortable. I mean, he's a oh. champ now. Very much a clinician tonight. There we go. Vittori got him there. That's what he's got to do. When he gets his foot up against that fence, he's got to let his hands go. But Adesanya does so well negating it, moving out, it's using just, his lateral it's movement. Kind of crazy that he never throws to the body, though. I mean, when he's got him stationary against the cage, he's still moving towards the head. And is he slipping everything? A lot of energy expended to try to get Adesanya down there, and is he again using the fence to his advantage? Well, nice work here from Izzy. See how he's controlling? That left arm of Vittori with both, both of his hands. Two on one grip there. Really prevents Marvin from having any wrestling or striking offense. Because he's owning that one hand. <laughs> Champion <laughs> masterful through four. That is not a foul. that up just so beautiful he's got the hands clasped together let's see if he bursts now he's trying to pull him off he's trying to step over the leg he's still got the hands clasped and he's still got double underhooks right in front of us it's just like how much energy right. does he have does he have the physical strength to turn him and the technique to get him on his back? Warning there from Mark Goddard as Vittori was stalling a little bit. See, now even if Vittori is able to get this takedown, the way he's got him locked there over the shoulder, he's just going to shrug him off or t reverse him immediately. Yeah. And Mark Goddard is thinking about separating him, it looks like to me. Adesanya faints the knee. Head kick landed fairly flush there. You gotta love the control of Adesanya as well. When he loads up his hips to throw one of these kicks, if it's not right, he's able to stop almost Ooh. midway through the windup of that kick. Just constantly reading and downloading, as he says. <laughs> Adesanya.
Adesanya sort of fainting as if he got stung. We have hit the midpoint of this fifth and final round. At this point, the question is how much does Vittori have left in the tank? Can he even get Izzy down if he grabs him? No, and even if he did, Joe, with two, 215, I, the way that we've seen Izzy perform off of his back and spring back to his feet or reverse that position, yeah, I, I, he'd need to catch him with something big. Two minutes. Adesanya lands and then moves out of harm's way and Vittori just having a hard time finding the requisite energy to pull the trigger here in round five. Gets the clinch again. Almost has it. Trying to drag him down, can't do it. Well, the championship hunger burns deep for Marvin Vittori. He wants this so badly, but at least through 24 minutes has ran into a, a better man tonight. All right, back to the center of the octagon for the final 45 seconds. Adesanya has just been such a promotional workhorse since he made his UFC debut. No extended layoffs, massive fight one after the next. And one last leg kick potentially to tie his personal best. Late shot from Marvin Vittori, cosmetic. And the path to UFC middleweight, golden glory, still goes through Auckland, New Zealand. It'll be three successful title defenses for the champion Israel Adesanya. And you saw Adesanya with a little eye roll there. Perhaps he didn't like what Vittori had to say. All right, let's take a look here. I mean, this fight was all Israel Adesanya. Beautiful leg kicks. But early on, Marvin Vittori did a really good job catching that leg kick and getting him down. But from there on, Izzy had no issues when taken to the ground and preventing it from getting to the ground. And he just was constantly battering that lead leg of Marvin Vittori. He had no real answer for it. Here's another takedown. Nice timing. And Marvin Vittori had these moments throughout the fight. But he was never able to truly capitalize. You see Adesanya able to turn in there, land some ground and pound, and get the fight back where he wanted it on the feet. Knocks him off of his feet there. Beautiful uppercut here. And then follows it with, of course, a chopping leg kick. I mean, just a beautiful shutout, just like he called it. Adesanya. Yeah, not many dangerous seconds of that fight for Israel Adesanya. At one point, his back was taken, but he reversed course rather quickly, and he dominated Marvin Vittori as he said he would one final time tonight. Here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45 for the winner. By unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya!